of Victoria and I'm going to be doing the bikini waxing procedure. So first you want to do your client consultation. So this includes greeting your client and escorting them to your work area, determining the client's preferences, assessing your client's needs, assess client's skin by performing instant analysis to ensure that there's no inflamed, infected, broken, raised, or swollen skin in the area to be worked on, or an open wound or sore in the area to be worked on. Infection or infestation such as lice to prevent from safely performing the service. Assess the client's consultation form for any medications and products used within the last 72 hours. And consult on any, any known allergies. Consult with the client on any surgeries that may have occurred in that area within the last three months. And if the client is under physician's care. Assess if the client is prone to fever blisters. Assess if the client has used exfoliating or lightening agents within the last 72 hours. Assess any injections that they may have had in that area within the last three weeks. And if the client is free from the above, the student can go ahead and move forward with the procedure. So of course my client is free from these, so I can go ahead and start by washing my hands. Okay, so I'm over at my hand washing station. I'm going to start by getting a paper towel to turn the faucet on with. Put that away. I'm going to go ahead and rinse. So now that my hands have been rinsed, I can go ahead and get a corn size amount of salt soap and put it in the palm of my hand. I'm going to let it for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, so now that my hands have been loaded with the soap, I can go ahead and thoroughly rinse them. So now that I've rinsed my hands off, I can go ahead and get a paper towel to dry them off with.
Just an open hand switch. I can go like this away. Get a dry paper towel. Turn the faucet off. Throw that away. So now that I've finished washing my hands, I can go ahead and go through the tools and supplies that I'll need for this um, bikini waxing skill. So I'll need gloves, cotton pads, small scissors, tissue, tweezers, linen wax applicator sticks, table paper cover for bed, towels, paper drapes, wax strips, products needed, antiseptic, pre-epilation product, post-epilation product, hard or soft wax. In this case, I'm going to be simulating soft wax with honey, wax remover, equipment needed, equipment car, equipment cleaner, facial butter chair, wax warmer. Again, since I'm simulating soft wax with honey, I don't need the wax warmer. So for the prep work, I'm going to go ahead and disinfect my workstation, bed, and equipment using a disinfectant wipe following manufacturer's instructions. So first I'm going to go ahead and get some gloves on, that way the chemicals from the wipes do not get on my hands. So I'm going to go ahead and get my barbicide wipes, take one, wipe down the equipment cart and sink area. down the facial bed area. Then wipe down the wax warmer, throw the wipe away, let our thing air dry for two minutes. And now it's been cleansed. I can go ahead and get another barbicide wipe and wipe down the same surfaces. So the equipment cart and sink area. The facial bed area. And then the wax warmer, I'm going to throw the wipe away, let everything air dry for two minutes, and now it's been disinfected. So I can go ahead and take off these gloves and throw them away. Okay, so now that I've disinfected my workstation, I can go ahead and check my equipment, so my wax warmer, to ensure that it's in safe working order and that it's actually plugged in to a working receptacle. Next, I would gather my clean supplies needed for the facial service, storing those, I mean, for the waxing service, storing in a clean closed container. Then I dispense my products needed for the waxing service. Um, prepare disposable portion cups for each product with a portion of product by opening the top of the container and ensuring the tip of the nozzle does not come into contact with a disposable portion cup or tray, or remove product with a disinfected or clean single-use spatula. Close the lid to the product and set the portion cup or tray on the tray. This is my cup for the wax. I'm using honey to simulate the soft wax, so I put the honey in the cup. I've got my wax. Soothing
And I'm going to get some water. And this is going to be for the pre-epilation product and the wax remover. Next, I'm going to place a disposable table paper on the disinfected facial bed to ensure that the wax does not fall onto the bed. Now I can go ahead and do my client prep. So um, here is my client. So I would offer the client a pair of disposable undergarments unless she is wearing an old bathing suit. I would next instruct the client to remove their clothing from the waist down. Then I would settle the client onto the facial bed um, on her back. Then I would drape the client covering the legs and torso with a sheet. And I will Move the sheet when I'm ready to wax the bikini area. So now I can go ahead and wash my hands. So I'm over at my hand washing station. I'm going to start by getting a dry paper towel to turn the faucet on with. Throw that away and start by rinsing. I'm going to go ahead and get a coin set if not my soft soap and put it in the palm of my hand. And allow that for 20 to 30 seconds. So now that my hands have been lathered with the soap, I can go ahead and thoroughly rinse them. So now that I've rinsed, I can go ahead and get a paper towel to dry my hands off with.
twist the knot on the hand so it is red. I can go out there this way. Get a dry paper towel, turn the faucet off, throw that away as well. So now that I've finished washing my hands, I can go ahead and put on some gloves so I can start waxing. So now I've gotten my gloves on, I can go ahead and um, look up at the bikini line to assess the direction of hair growth and make sure that if the hairs are growing in several different directions, I would apply the wax to each section in the direction of the hair growth. Um, so now I can go ahead and adjust the shape around the right bikini area, the right side of the area. So I can get to it and wax it. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the pre ablation product to that side um, to get all the body lotion off. And then when I get to the other side, I'll apply it there as well. But I'm going to be applying my products on this little cube of fake skin just to show you what I would actually do um, and apply it to the bikini area. And this way I can practice applying the honey and then taking the strip off. So I'm applying the pre ablation product. I'm going to dust the area with cornstarch. Now I can go ahead and test the temperature of the wax on myself. Okay, the temperature seems to be good. Go ahead and get a little wax strip. I'm going to get some wax remover and take off any excess wax from my wrist. That way my wrist doesn't stick to the inside of the glove. Okay, so now I can go ahead and start waxing. So again, I'm on this right leg and the first area that I'm going to wax. It looks like the hairs are going in a downward direction and inward. So I'm going to apply it in the same direction that's going. So downward and inward. Get a wax removal strip, apply it. Hold, pull the strip out, pull, apply pressure. These next hairs are closer to the inside of the leg and they're going in a downward direction. So I'm going to apply it in the same direction. So now I've gotten all the hairs from that side with those two wax removal strips. I'm going to go ahead and get some wax remover to remove any excess wax from the area. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and get my tweezers and tweeze any hairs that I may have missed with the wax because with soft wax, you can't go over it again with the wax. I'm going to get some post-epilation soothing gel to soothe the area. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side of the bikini area. And re- um, reposition the sheet so I can get to that area. So first I'm going to go ahead and get some pre epilation product to cleanse the area of any body lotions. Now I'm going to get some cornstarch and lightly dust the area with that to get rid of any oils and moisture. Mm -hmm. Now I've already um, tested the temperature of the wax so I can just start waxing. So this first part that I'm going to wax, the um, hair is going in downward and inward direction. So I'm going to apply it that same way. The wax removal strip. Apply it in that same direction. Hold, hold the skin top, pull, apply pressure. This next section of hair is going in a downward direction, and this is closer to the um, inner thigh area. So I'm going to put it in a downward direction since that's the same direction that the hair is growing. Get a wax removal strip. in that same direction. Hold, hold the skin top, pull, apply pressure. So now I've gotten most of the hair off. I can go ahead and get my wax remover and remove any excess wax. I'm going to get my tweezers and tweeze any hairs that I may have missed with the soft wax. Again, you can't go over the wax twice with soft wax. So I'm going to tweeze any hairs that I may have missed. Okay, now I'm going to get the post epilation soothing gel and apply that to the area. There we go. So now I've finished waxing both um, sides of the bikini area. So I can go ahead and
and take off these gloves and throw them away. So now that I've finished waxing, I can go ahead and do the client follow-up, so discuss maintenance and aftercare with my client. Then I make sure all my single-use items have been discarded. Next, I'm going to place any implements that I've used in a closed container labeled to be disinfected. I'm going to place any cakes and towels that I've used in a closed container until they've been laundered. Right now I'm going to go ahead and get some more gloves on so I can clean and disinfect my workspace. gloves on. I'm going to go ahead and get my barbicide wipes. Take one, wipe down the equipment cart and sink area. Wipe down the facial bed area. Wipe down the wax warmer, throw away the wipe, let everything air dry for two minutes, and now it's been cleaned. I'm going to get another barbicide wipe, wipe down the same surfaces, so the equipment cart and sink area. Facial bed area. And then the wax warmer. Then I can throw the wipe away. Let everything air dry for two minutes, and now everything's been disinfected. So I can go ahead and put these wipes back and take off my gloves. And throw them away. Next, I would take my disinfected wax warmer and place and store it in an area separate from all of my other implements, and I'd make sure it's a clean area. So now that I've finished cleaning and disinfecting my workstation, I can go ahead and wash my hands. So I'm over at my hand washing station. I'm going to start by getting a dry paper towel to turn the faucet on with. 